Get any of that now. Oh, did you get it on there? Yeah. It's not the best looking, but... All we're doing is running vacuum for the brakes so that we can put a deal in the intake, run vacuum, the carburetor, everything's already mounted. Fuel system's good to go. Coolant minus the main hose. We're going to install the Dizzy. Seth is doing wiring. This is kind of wild, but I figure run it down like so. I'll clean it up. So this is how the professionals do it. Um, I could probably read this, but I don't know the colors of wires. You don't have a legend on this. Everything is red. Well, that's really convenient. Yeah, my, my brother wired his red one time and every hop was red and every ground was black. So, it, I mean. Well, I mean, that's the way you would typically do it. Yeah, well, I'm, right. I'm at least doing different color wires. Like I got yellows and whites. I got the whole plethora. I just see all the red. Well, yeah, because I had a red pen. We don't need grounds where we're going. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even mark grounds separate on there. <laughs> I just, I, I had to visualize what I was thinking. Yeah. So when I came here, I'm like, where am I running everything to? So, like, man, that's why I put a big freaking board out here. In, use a whiteboard with permanent marker. It doesn't come off until you need it to. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Mm. We're also repairing the battery because I let it die and it froze. Shout uh, out to NoCo. Are they a sponsor of us? I hope they will be. That'd be awesome. NoCo? If that's how you say it. Is that how you say it? Yeah. Nope. They, uh, they also have lithium batteries too that have its own like controller in it for like discharge and everything. Smart batteries. NoCo. Come on. Okay. Well, we're using NoCo stuffs. Um... <laughs> If you follow me back, you know, I cut the brackets off the back of the roll cage. So the seats now come back further and, and we don't have them wearing holes in the backs of a brand new Horvu seats. Um, these seats have like literally three runs on them and already got a hole in it because previous owner didn't properly cut the tabs off. Um, we're also putting in new harnesses. Shout out to, again, Jeff Schmidt because he gave us these harnesses. So um, we're going to put a strap on them, make them a little bit um, so they don't spread out here. Did you say strap on? I don't have words. <laughs> um, we don't want to run through the seat because, one... The seat is like lower than most people's shoulders, and so we're going to run them up here. But when you're sitting in the seat, your shoulders are a little further downwards, and so they're pulling down versus like up and over your shoulders. Um, and it just looks a whole lot cleaner too. Got rid of the sound bar. I donated that to um, the trash can. Uh, Ryan. Who? Ryan. Oh, Robert Ryan. Mike guy. That guy. Um, so he came by and helped out last night. I gave him that because I didn't want to deal with it anymore. Um, what else have we got? We got the rear drive shaft in. Uh, fuel cell or fuel pump wiring is started. Uh, I mean, it's loomed. It's rough positioned. Yep. yep it's got yep. the, uh, braided loom on it. Fancy. 
you know, I originally bought this for the Waggy when I first got the Waggy to redo the entire harness. Glad it's being used too. I'm glad you did all, did all that work on the Waggy. Yeah, me too. Shout out to the hoodies that are coming out. <laughs> yeah. For the Waggy. Um, uh, is that where like in the future, like merch is here or merch is here. And then <laughs> here's the picture of the, the hoodie design. Let me spin it around so you can see both sides of it. <laughs> Already the, the, got the, the YouTube was, thing figured and that out. Was the YouTube Comment, it. Follow, sub, and um, YMCA. And guys, yeah. stop. I'm going to have to do so much work in post. Stop pointing. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to take me forever. Oh, to you don't get paid. No. <laughs> <laughs> we are looking at hoodies. Um, I was tinkering with the design for the Waggy, and turns out a lot of people like it. So we're going to put that one up on the website at some point. And then. Seth is also going to be designing some hoodies and um, t-shirt designs for recoil, like in general. And so those will be available to purchase. Then we're looking at koozies, hats, um, might look at keychains at some point. I don't know. Stickers. Stickers. Um, but yeah, all that stuff will be available on the website. So definitely go check out the website. Um, see what's on there. What else do we have to talk about? I'm kind of... Uh, we're wrapping stuff off your wreck, your hurt engine side by side for mm. the, for the uh, flashers and brakes and everything. So let's talk about the list. We're close. List. So... Friday, it is what? Thursday? We are. It's Thursday. And the only thing we have left is harness <clears throat> harness and um, dizzy fill the transmission and TK's throw in a drive shaft in the front bulked up the exhaust and spark plug wires and shocks so I need to keep going shocks have to happen otherwise it'll be a funny ride on the way up there uh, which is, I can run and get those tomorrow. Oh, yeah, I forgot. So, yeah, tomorrow I'm going to get some of this stuff. And then, what else? The clutch needs a little bit of work, so it's a little finicky. I'll actually show you what I've got going with that. The master cylinder for the NV3500 uh, would not work because it's not... Uh, or it's an external slave cylinder versus this one's an internal hydraulic slave cylinder. So the 4500 transmission, the push rod was a lot longer. So actually, whenever I put it on there, it literally put the pedal up like this. So the clutch was all the way up here. So all I did was I took a little bit, I don't know, probably an inch or two out of this rod and weld it back together. And my thinking was, so when this is together, is it slightly below the uh, the brake, which won't be bad because whenever you're off road in the rocks and you're half, you don't have a hand throttle and you're having to use both feet for all three pedals, then you can heel toe with this and it's a lot easier. But as I was bleeding the clutch, I don't know if the rod is just not long enough or if it just needs to be bled more. I think it needs to be bled more. But I have that much throw before it really even starts to get tight. So when you're in the rocks, you're not going to be able to use heel and toe on both the clutch and the brake and then feather the throttle. So like whenever I'm wheeling, I like to rest my foot against the trans tunnel and then just roll my foot over in the throttle so I can keep a steady throttle through the rocks. Otherwise, you're like whiskey throttle in it and it gets to be a pain so i'm probably going to cut that rod back apart lengthen it a little bit more and bring this pedal i don't know probably about right there so that whenever you push it it comes to about there and then you can use both or one foot for brake and clutch and one foot for throttle um this is all before we have the hand throttle on the shifter so i I cut a little much out of it, but that's okay. Um, 
I'll fix it and move on. So that's the, the deal on the clutch. Um, got bleed it a little bit more, I think, and then we'll go from there. I'm picking up windshield brackets tomorrow. So windshield's going on because I'm not gonna freeze on Saturday. I mean, I'm gonna freeze. I just don't want my face to freeze. We're almost there. I feel like, aside from the wiring harness. I mean, the wiring harness is a lot of work. I just gotta give you crap. Huh? I just gotta give you crap. Huh? <laughs> um, but yeah, we're almost there. So we're gonna get back to it. Hopefully you guys can catch us in the midst of all this madness. And then Saturday, come find us and check out what, what we've accomplished. What a lot of people have helped us accomplish. <sighs> Come look at the uh, dinosaur of a car that nobody knows how to operate besides a few people in the world.